Hello there, and welcome to Everything Coptic. Today I would like to reflect on peace and pose a question. Why is it when I am with God, whether it's in reflection, contemplation, in prayer, whatever it may be, or in the church, or in service, I am at peace. And why is that? And I thought, what is the condition of peace? And I couldn't look much further than the Garden of Eden. And I couldn't imagine much more than humanity at peace with God. And that is a perfect icon of peace. When there is no pain, there is no suffering, but there is perfect unity and perfect love. But we sinned and we fell and we were cast forth from the Garden. But through our Lord Jesus Christ, through the Incarnation, through the economy of his tender mercy, we have been returned. And what greater condition of peace can there be than the unity between God and man? There is longing within the heart of a man. There is a place even, as St. Basil says, even within the brain, there is a part, it, it, it wants to contemplate the Lord. It wants to be united with him again. Humanity as a whole seeks who is God, who is Lord all over me. Paul goes to Athens and sees, yes, you are looking for the unknown God. I know the unknown God. And we do not find resolution until we are united with him. But there's so much anxiety in life. There's so many problems. There's health problems. There's deadlines. There's problems with our studies, problems with our relationships. There's so many problems. You could wonder, what can I do to solve these problems? And why do they give me so much anxiety? Well, there's two things. On the one hand, we wish to have control over our lives, control over our relationships, control over all these different things. And the fact that we don't have control really bothers us. It really bothers me. And it, it keeps me up at night. And I keep others up at night because there's so many things going on that I, I can't do anything about it. But on the other hand, there is no resolution. If I didn't have control, it, who, who, it wouldn't matter as long as there was someone to solve that problem. But the fact that I can do nothing, I'm helpless to solve the thing, well, that's really tough. And that does cause a lot of anxiety and that does remove my peace. But then I return back to the first point that when I'm with God, I find that there is peace. Well, why is that? We try as humanity to solve our problems on our own. The mind is perturbed, the soul is bothered, and it doesn't know what to do. And the body says, I will try to help you. But what does the body know? The body only knows how to gratify itself. And it says, look, I'll find satisfaction. Satisfaction comes through satisfying the body. It comes through food, sensual pleasures, etc. It comes through distractions, through sin. And ultimately, this hurts the soul much more. The soul says, no, 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 you're making it much worse. This isn't better at all. I was actually much better off before. I tried to do these things. And we ask, how then can I solve my problems when I don't have ability and I don't have, maybe I don't have the health and I don't have what it takes. And that's where I find the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, is greater than anything, when I come before the Lord, the one I love, the one my heart longs for, I take these problems and I submit it to him. And when I submit them to him, they are now in his submission. They, he, they, they have no power when they are before him because he is much greater than these. My hands are very frail and they're very limited. And there's a lot of things that aren't within my hands. And that could worry me. But God's hands are much bigger and much stronger, and much more sure, and do not fail. And I can be guaranteed that when the issue, the problem, whatever it is, it's on my hand, it is in his hands, and that may grant peace. And I may know, I may not be able to solve such problems, but our Lord Jesus Christ, he is able to accomplish such. And this isn't a lazy way to look at your problems. Well, you know, God will take care of it, so I don't need to. No, 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 it's not how it works but rather he gives us the power. He gives us the way. He opens the doors. 
He allows us to be his fellow workers and he allows us to grow through these. So then the point of this issue, this problem, whatever it is, tribulation, call it what you want. The point of it is not so much that it is there to defeat us or it's there to, to give us anxiety, but rather it is there that we may overcome it, that we may see, wow, God, this brought us closer together. I relied on you so much. And we can give him glory, that we can grow from these, that we can be transformed. Therefore, when he says, you know, don't worry about tomorrow, tomorrow will worry about itself. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. The end is the kingdom of heaven, but the goal is to be like Christ. Therefore, we persevere through these trials, these tribulations, these problems, so that we may be transformed to be like our Lord Jesus Christ. For it's through those very difficult times that we truly learn to rely on him. And therefore, we find that the peace of God is not something of a feeling and it's not something of a mood. But rather, it is a condition that I am in the presence of God and I recognize the presence of God. Because as long as I am back in that garden and I am united with him, I'm dwelling with him in this loving relationship. Doesn't matter what's happening outside. Doesn't matter what problems or tribulations, but whatever there is, because I am with God and I find peace in him. He is the one who my heart longs for. And I have joy in this peace. I have joy in his protection. And I know that whatever problems there are, I'm not going to let them bother me. I'm not going to make have those problems make me curse under my breath or make me lose sleep at night or anything, but rather... I will rely on him. To our Lord Jesus Christ belongs all glory and honor with his good Father and the Holy Spirit. And glory be to God forever. Amen.